So hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is May the 22nd, the time is now 4.52 p.m. So today was a beautiful Wednesday all day guys. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you can see more of me. Now today's topic is going to be know your enemy. It's very important to know your enemy and study your enemy. Now the reason why I felt like this is something that I needed to discuss is because I feel like a lot of times times you know we we focus so much on a lot of positive things that we want to do in our lives we focus on our goals we focus on becoming our greatest but in the process of doing all of that not only do you probably already have enemies some you may know about and some you may not know about but you're probably going to make a couple enemies along the way like it's 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 so crazy because even if you are like the most positive person like possible there's going to be some people that's just naturally not going to like you because maybe the way you look, maybe your personality, your attitude, it could be so many different things. We even, we could even be talking about enemies as far as business-wise, competition. So at the end of the day, guys, I felt like it was really important that we have this discussion today because it's time for us to talk about this. Now, when I say know your enemy, what I mean by that is you got to sit back and study people. You have to see who these people are. You have to watch the way that they move. And you know what? It's so crazy because sometimes our enemy could be someone that we thought was a friend, someone that we allowed to get close to us. See, there's different types of enemies. So the first type of enemy is the enemy that you know for sure. When you first meet this person, you just know that y'all two are not going to get along. Maybe they rubbed you the wrong way or maybe they done said something you know inappropriate or disrespectful or something to just hurt your feelings or maybe they just don't like you because of the way you look or maybe it's your attitude it could be so many different things you know but that's the first type of enemy the second type of enemy guys is the one that pretends that they like you the enemy that acts like, oh, yeah, I like her so much. She's so cool. Or, oh, yeah, that's my boy. Me and him, we be, you know, we be vibing and chilling and all that stuff. But then, you know, at the end of the day, deep down inside, they have something personal against you. And they're just waiting for you to fall flat on your face. That's that second type of enemy. The one that pretends like they like you. But deep down inside, it's like you kind of know that they don't like you, but they don't make it obvious. They kind of like... um. They hide it inside until you turn your back and then they just be waiting for you to just fall flat on your face. That's the second type of enemy you got to watch out for. The third type of enemy guy that's, that's out there, guys, is the one that you're sleeping with. Now, that's the scary thing or the one that you're living with. That is the scary thing because the enemy that you're sleeping with is someone that you actually put your guard down to allow them to get close to you and... You know, lo and behold, as soon as they get the chance, they're going to cutthroat you one way or another. Why? Because deep down inside, they are so jealous and so envious of you that, you know, they they said, okay, well, now that I'm close to her, I can show her how I really feel. And she's probably not going to go anywhere. Or, you know, even for even with females, guys, you know, you allow some of these girls to get close to you. And the next thing you know, as soon as they get a chance, they shit on you. You know, it, that's the enemy that you're sleeping with. That's the enemy that, that's living in your household. And when I say enemies living in your household I'm talking about maybe you roommates with someone or maybe you and a certain family member don't get along the way that you guys used to so I don't want to say that that's kind of like an enemy but then again if they're doing stuff to hurt your feelings to try to get under your skin and irritate you then obviously they don't have good intentions for you so family or not if they're treating you like they don't give a fuck about you then you got to ask yourself well you know, is this person really considered a uh, um, family, you know, or are they just like an enemy in disguise? It's so many different types of enemies. But guys, when I say you have to study your enemy, you have to study your enemy. Sit back, watch them, analyze everything that's going on. You don't have to make it obvious, but... You do have to take time to really study them because, see, knowing your enemy is, is just as important as knowing yourself. 
And the reason why I say that is because if you know your enemy and you watch them day in and day out and you just pay attention to how they move, first of all, you know what they will do and what they won't do. Because some people will try certain things with you, but they won't put their hands on you. But then you have the enemies that probably would put their hands on you. So you got to know, like, you got to watch how they move because then you'll know what they would do and what they won't do. And the second reason why you guys have to start studying your enemy is because you need to know their next move. If you know your enemy as well as you know yourself, then you're going to be able to know what they're going to do before they even do it. This is why I'm saying studying your enemy is so important because you need to know how this person is going to give it up so you can deal with them accordingly, you know, so you make sure your safety is, is, is good. That's important. The third reason why I feel like it's very important for us to study our enemy is because honestly speaking, guys, we, we need to pay attention and we need to be aware of what they may be saying or, you know, what their next move might be or just whatever the case may be. You have to study your enemy, even when it comes to business. There's going to be times where, and you guys, if you guys are business owners, you guys obviously know that your business could be doing so well. And then, of course, you have people who are in competition with you. So they're just waiting for your business to decline. They're waiting for, uh, um, you know, they, they're looking for ways to get your customers to go to their, to their business and stuff. And that's, and that's how people are. People out here are cutthroat. So at the end of the day, I feel like it's really important for you guys to start studying your enemies just as much as you need to know your enemies, like the back of your hand. Just as well as you know yourself is how well you need to know your enemies because then you can always stay one step ahead of them, two steps ahead of them. And that's important for survival. That's important for survival, guys. So if you're not too sure who your enemies are, start paying attention. See how a person treats you, the way they act when you come around. I mean, are they... Is it smiles on their face? Are they laughing and having a great time? Or do they frown when you come around? Are they are they upset and mad and angry and pissed off? That will tell you how a person really feels about you. So at the end of the day, I feel like, guys, it's really important to know your enemy. Because when you start, you know, climbing that ladder, ladder to make it to the top... There is going to be people that are not going to like you because of your title. If you are aiming for, you know, goals and you want to accomplish big things in your life, there are going to be people who are going to naturally hate on that. They're going to be jealous, envious, because they don't have those same type of goals. They don't have that same mindset. So for them, it's like, okay, well, I'm, I'm friends with her, but I'm waiting for her to fall flat on her face so that I could be able to throw something up in her face or say, oh, well, I told you so. Or just sometimes people just want to be close to you just to see you fail. And I don't mean to, you know, burst your bubble, guys, but that's the reality of, of what we are dealing with in today's society sometimes. There are going to be people who are going to play you so close, pretend like they're your friends, like they care for you and they love you, but deep down inside, they just sitting around waiting for you to fail. And this is why you have to know your enemy this way, like they always say. Keep keep your enemies, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. That means that you need to know your enemies just as well as you know yourself. That is so important. And I've learned that along my journey that it's the truth. Because I know how people feel, certain people feel about me, I know how to deal with them before I even see them. Because I'm in control of the situation. I'm two steps ahead of you. You don't know that I know how you feel. As long as I know how, how you feel, then I know how to deal with you accordingly. So that's how you guys have to start seeing it, especially if you want to survive out here in society and life. You are going to run across so many people and not everyone is going to like you. And that's fine. You know, that is completely fine. But like I said before, guys, know your enemy. Study your enemy. You need to know them as well as you know yourself. And moving forward... The reason why I say it's important for you guys to know your enemy as well as you know yourself is because if you study this person and you see certain characteristics, certain traits about them, you're going to come across someone like that person in the near future. 
it's going to be a different person, but the same characteristics, same personality, same fakeness. You need to be aware of those signs so you know how to deal with that person accordingly. This way, history won't repeat itself. That's why you got to study your enemy so you'll know who that person is because you're going to run across someone that's like that person again and then you're going to get tested and if you already know how you dealt with it the first time, then you know how to deal with it the second time. So, yeah, I done had, I done had frenemies, friend amies, friend amies, people that I allowed close to me who never really had good intentions who tried to set me up multiple times. I've been through that stuff before. So now I know what to look for when certain people come up to me and they try to play me close. I already know who they are. So I know how to deal with them accordingly. But that's the reason why if I hadn't studied that person before or those people, I wouldn't know how to, how to you know, play them. I wouldn't know how to play them against their own game. And that's why I'm telling you guys, Know your enemy just as well as you know yourself because that could be a matter of life and death. Now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was very informative, and I hope you guys understand exactly where I'm coming from. If you feel like you want to leave any comments down below and let me know how you deal with your enemies and different techniques that you utilize to actually study them, I will be open to hearing what you guys have to say. But, like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And, of course, visit my website at shopleveronline.com. Until next time, guys, peace.